Although now that we're here. Why did we come here, Holmes? Brr, it's rather sinister here and so cold. Precisely, Watson. Ah, good. Here's a pub. We can warm ourselves inside. Excellent, Holmes. So the is the pub's name pub? What do you make of this, Holmes? I suppose the pub's name is pub. Okay. Oh, I'm not supposed to investigate. No, oh, it's called the Cursed Mermaid. I see. Good name. Now, be on the lookout for people with fish eyes and a slurred speech. Good day to you, sir. Could you serve up two of your best pints and some information, if you please? My pleasure, sir. What can I do for you? My friend and I are looking for a man who works one of the fishing boats at the docks. The name of the ship escapes me, but I do know for certain fact it has a coal-fed boiler. In truth, there are dozens of such boats that lay anchor here every day. What can you tell me about the look of him? Only that he is a robust man about this size, wearing iron soles. Little help there. You've just described half of my customers. I have nothing for you. Here now. Look for a man called Harper. He lives in a house not far from here, after the bridge near the warehouses. You can't go wrong finding his place. It has a large anchor painted on it. Either way, I am in your debt. Please tell me, for curiosity's sake, what troubles your friend? He's been waiting ever so long for a new wooden hand. It was to be here yesterday, but still no sign of it. He is quite low and has taken to the drink. The devil! Last night a nasty flea woke me, and me with only the hook on me scratching hand. <laughs> and to add to me worries, imagine last summer I had worms. Worms? Yes, Grams, is what it was. A sudden attack in the middle of the night, again with only the one hand and that blasted hook on the other. Hit me misery. I used the wrong hand. <laughs> Lord, I was unable to so much as sit for three weeks. <laughs> well, gentlemen, again, thank you. Have a nice day. That is amazing. Oh my god, that is great. <laughs> okay, I know we're on a mission to find the missing person, but first, we must find this man's hand. I have no reason to go there. We must find this man's hand, post-haste. Surely the highly intelligent Sherlock Holmes can find it. I'm sorry, gentlemen. This is private property. There's no entry here. Uh-huh. So are this like sleeping quarters then? Is it like do you rent is those rooms back there? Because that would be a sucky place to have to sleep, I guess. It works. So whatever. Can I go up the stairs? I want up the stairs. No. I can't go up the stairs. Unfortunate. What do you make of this, Holmes? Someone stole a hand. There's a hand thief out here. That's the most insidious kind of thief of all, because, you know, whenever you steal, the penalty is that you, they cut off your hands. But if you've been stealing hands, you've got extra hands just laying around, so it doesn't really matter. This man is a criminal mastermind. Oh my god. I think we may be dealing with a new Moriarty. Yeah, I'm gonna. But seriously, I'm gonna find this guy's hand. It's gotta be around here somewhere. And uh, I guess I'll switch to a uh, first-person perspective for the moment, just just so you guys will have some fun. The controls for this are really weird for first-person. It's very unusual, but. I guess I'll get used to it. And this is the part where the monster comes out of the water and grabs me. I'm dead. All right? No? Okay. Whatever. Nope. 
No entry. All around the back of the pub. No. I don't know, there's lots of wood around here. I'm sure I could craft a guy in a wooden hand. Let's see what this says. Lighthouse on the Thames, 1867. The factory's closed, the general strike. I'm gonna scab, I'm gonna scab for the factory. No. No scabs crossing the picket lines, is that, is that how it is? Somebody gonna break my legs if I do? I'll tell you, the anti-union people uh, like to act like they're the good guys, but uh, they're just as brutal as the unions are. I'll tell you that right now. That has everything to do with Sherlock Holmes and Lovecraft. Shut up. Oh, this man's... I swear. I know I know. it has to be like a quest. It has to be like a mini quest or something. Find the drunk man's hand so he stops horribly maiming his own ass. Because nobody wants that. Especially if he's going to talk about it all the time. Oopsie daisy. I'd like to go forward, please, thank you. Watson's trying to stop me from going where I want to go. Thank you, Watson. You're a true friend. See, that's the guy's house right there. That's uh, quite the house, too. Holy crap. However... I would like. Can I pick that up? No. I don't want to do that. Okay. Goody goody gumdrops. <coughs> However, it appears I can go in here. Closed tight. Because they, they're actually drawing the interior of that, so there's obviously a place I can go to eventually. I'm going to look for your answer. Got to be around here somewhere, sir. Holy crap. Look at the size of this place. Uh, Alright. I would like to help the old man out with his hand, but I think I'm done with screwing around for the moment. I will uh, probably go ahead and do what I'm supposed to be doing, which is going to that guy's house with the anchor back there. Seems prudent. Oh my god. First person to you in this game. It's not the best. I've, I don't think I've ever played worse first person controls unless we're talking about like the no one is here. The very first. You spy on me, kid? Hey, kid. You spy on me, kid? Now I can go? Okay, whatever. Excuse me for disturbing you, but I'm looking for a man named Mr. Harper. Do you know him? He lives just opposite you. He gone. Boat. Boat. Watson, I know this accent. These people are Nepalese, and as luck would have it, I am familiar with this dialect. Nepalese? Holmes, are you sure? Aho Nitra, Shigong Se Nitra. Ah, Nito. Oh, thanks for the translation, game. This woman says her family has suffered a grave misfortune. This altar is for her son, a lad of 16, who disappeared just one week ago. Could he have run away to sea or some other youthful adventure? Il Koga Bratsain, but Presindra Kum. She said a man was seen in the area making inquiries about her son and their family. The man worked at the docks and had a silver eye. Yes, exactly. He was a vile man with one silver eye. Malinhe gas. Sundra brokat hardu. She also says her son's belongings are on this altar. She says we may examine them and take anything that might help find her son. But what does this have to do with Captain Stenick's servant? 
I don't know, a chain of kidnapped foreigners. I don't know who, why that would have anything to do with each other. Watson, huh? Watson, Watson, huh? Don't question my, don't question me. I'm Holmes, dog. This is not Nepali. It looks like silver, but judging by the weight, it's a fake. So it's probably just lead. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss, miss. Petro, hitoka. So what did she say? Eh, okay, not gonna tell me, whatever. Hello, son. No. And I also like, uh, like, oh, these people from Nepal. I just so happen to know how to speak Nepalese. For realsies. For realsies. That's legitimate, man. Holmes has to speak Nepalese every day. Is this our Mr. Harper? Yay, I get to talk to him in a pile of vomit. Hooray! Watson, it appears this young man is ill. Be a good man and see how serious it is. Here now, my young man. Let's have a look at you. Oh, oh, Holmes. This man isn't ill. He's drunk. He fairly reeks of alcohol. Oh. Oh. It's not my fault. I swear it. Oh. Oh, my head. Oh. This gang of young toughs. They forced it on me. And then on top of it, they stole my parcel. What's that? You say you were forced to drink. Explain this and spare no details. Yesterday afternoon, I was given a parcel to deliver to an address not far from here. I was near the warehouse district when a, a gang of young lads attacked me. Before I could think, they drew knives and gave me a bottle, telling me if I valued my life, I better drink it all. Well, let me tell you, I drank without stopping. I became giddy, and then must have passed out. I remember nothing else except waking up a moment ago, finding myself alone, my parcel gone. But what could they have wanted, Holmes? It's obvious, Watson. They were seeking some poor soul on whom to test their vile concoction. Tell me, could this bottle be the one they gave you? I can't say. It could be. I feel ill just looking at it. Hmm. It has a unique flavor. Rather tasty, I might add. There's no mistaking my senses. This contains turnips. In fact, a liberal amount. But where are you off to, Holmes? Watson, it is time to seek out the distillers of this unique brew. If they are located in this district, they may have much to tell us. Okay, so I suppose... I don't know, I think that parcel of his, if it, they like stole his parcel, was probably something they were after, and the idea is, let's give this guy some drink to intoxicate him, and then when... He shows up and says, hey, I don't have it anymore, and he's drunk off his ass. They're not, nobody's going to believe the story of, these people forced me to drink it. Yeah. I don't think anyone's going to buy that. Except for Holmes. Because he's smarter than the average bear. <laughs> 